Smoke permeated the air for miles around the dump, creating a thick, pungent haze. For Bavilla and her family, this is their livelihood. This is the village of Thomas Borges. Bavilla, age 16, awakes early every morning to prepare the small cart that she, her sister, and mom will take to the dump. Once there, they wait for garbage trucks to arrive. Like every day, she stands with her mom and sister, expectantly, hoping to find anything usable as they rake through the heaps of waste. For over 50 years, Revilla's village, Thomas Borje, has been the city dump for Leon, Nicaragua. 6,000 families live in Thomas Borje, and most do not attend school, especially those with disabilities. There is hope for change. Revilla has enrolled in Stanley's kids and new opportunities await her. Stanley's Kids Ministry was born from the loss of Stanley Vallisillo, who was loved by everyone he came in contact with. His tragic death touched many lives. Though Stanley had Down syndrome, he thrived because he was given the opportunity to attend school and socialize with others a gift that many children with special needs never realize in Nicaragua. These families face difficulty and cost in transporting their children to school, as well as the stigma associated with their child's disability. In September of 2016, another great loss occurred to a family in our community. The death of Katie Beth Carter, a former student at our local Heritage High School, touched many lives here. Because of Katie's love of children and the legacy she has left behind, Heritage High, along with many students in our community and church, are building a new school in her memory in the impoverished village of Thomas Borje, Nicaragua. We felt that God was calling us to expand the ministry of Stanley's kids into Thomas Borje. This is a huge undertaking for a new ministry and a second year budget of $18,400 sounds almost insurmountable. But we know as God's word tells us in Matthew 19, 26, in what has become the key verse for the Stanley's Kids Ministry, with God, the impossible does not exist. If 100 families, individuals, groups, or even businesses would be willing to commit just $16 per month for 2018, the entire $18,400 budget would be covered completely. This will allow us to maintain both Stanley's Kids classrooms in Managua and Thomas Borje. God has been so faithful in all that he has done through Stanley's Kids in its short time since its beginning, and we know that he will remain faithful. We cover your prayers as we continue to look to him for direction. We thank you and we most definitely ask for your prayers as we seek God's will that everything that is done through this ministry will continue to point to Him. <laughs>